The Queen's youngest grandson James, Viscount Severn was comforted by Mike Tyndall outside Westminster Abbey today as he said farewell to his granny. The 14-year-old son of the Earl and Countess of Wessex looked somber as he attending the funeral alongside his family, including his sister Lady Louise, 18. Mike and his cousin-in-law James entered the church for the Queen's state funeral with the rest of Her Majesty's grandchildren, including Princesses Beatrice and her sister Eugenie. Sophie Wessex and Prince Edward's children have shown a maturity far beyond their years as they joined their older cousins in mourning since the Queen died at Balmoral on September 8, aged 96. On Saturday, all Queen Elizabeth's grandchildren visited Westminster Hall, where they held a first-of-its-kind vigil to pay tribute to the late monarch. As members of the public filed past Her Majesty's casket to pay their respects, the young royal was seen with his head bowed throughout the service, which lasted for around 10 minutes. The Wessex siblings were able to see a lot more of their grandparents growing up than their older cousins, as they have always lived just 11 miles from Windsor at Bagshot Park. James' parents wanted to give their daughter and son a normal childhood with school friends and extracurricular activities, and so, they were largely kept out of the limelight throughout their childhood. James is thought to be a much-loved addition to the party when attending the royal family's annual summer holiday in Balmoral, where he joins in enthusiastically with outdoor activities. But while he's clearly an important member of the Queen's family in private, he's rarely seen on any official engagements with his parents, and wasn't styled as a prince at birth in order to avoid some of the burdens of royal titles. Upon the Earl and Countess of Wessex's marriage in 1999, Buckingham Palace announced that their children would be styled as the offspring of an Earl, rather than as a Prince of Princess. It is thought this decision was made to avoid some of the burdens of royal titles, according to the BBC. His styling as Viscount Severn, one of his father's subsidiary titles, is believed to have been chosen to acknowledge Sophie's Welsh heritage because the name is taken from the River Severn in Wales. The Countess told the Sunday Times in 2020, We try to bring them up with the understanding that they are very likely to have to work for a living. Hence we made the decision not to use HRH titles. They have them and can decide to use them from 18, but it's highly unlikely. She also spoke in 2016 about her attempts to keep her son and daughter out of the public spotlight while they are children. Sophie told the BBC, certainly when they were very young we tried to keep them out of it. Only because for their sakes, to grow up as normally as possible we felt was quite important. And they're going to have to go out and get a job and earn a living later on in life and if they've had a normal a start in life they possibly can get then hopefully that will stand them in good stead.
yet the lack of HRH title hasn't stopped James from being honored, and a Canadian lake has already been named after him. His father Prince Edward was presented with a pair of framed notices naming two northwestern Manitoba lakes after his two children during his visit to the Canadian province of Manitoba in 2008, reported the Vancouver Sun. James, full name James Alexander Philip Theo, was born at Frimley Park Hospital on 17 December 2007. Prince Edward described his newborn son at the time as like most babies, rather small, very cute and very cuddly, reported the BBC. James is currently, following the birth of Princess Beatrice's baby last year 15th in the line of succession to the British throne. He was 8th in line at the time of his birth, ahead of his older sister Lady Louise. The succession of the Crown Act made it so that no male offspring now takes precedence over females in the royal family. However, the Act was passed in 2013, and only applies to those born after October 28, 2011. As such, Jameis' place in the order of succession remains ahead of Louise and was unchanged following the birth of Zara Tyndall's third baby Lucas, last year. This is because while Zara's mother Princess Anne is older than Edward, she was also born before the act came into force. James spends his summers at the Queen's Scottish estate with other members of the royal family and is rather good at flipping burgers and liked to get fully involved whenever there was a family barbecue at Balmoral, claimed a source. The insider also told The Sun in 2019, his enthusiasm for fly fishing delighted Her Majesty because it's a sport beloved of James's great granny, the late Queen Mother. James was in the D as often as possible, waders up to his armpits. His mother Sophie, who is a keen fisherwoman herself, liked to stand with him. The Balmoral Gillies, gamekeepers, were impressed with both of them. James has also previously been spotted driving a Land Rover in the grounds of Windsor Castle with his mother in the passenger seat.